Welcome everybody, this is Adam with Daily Armor of God. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're all doing well. This is Psalms and Proverbs in 31 days, and we are on day 13. And today we'll be reading Psalm 13, 43, 73, 103, 133, and Proverbs 13. Let's jump right in straight away with Psalm 13, verse 1. To the chief musician, a psalm of David. How long wilt thou forget me, O Yahweh, forever? How long wilt thou hide thy face from me? How long shall I take counsel in my soul, having sorrow in my heart daily? How long shall mine enemy be exalted over me? Consider and hear me, O Yahweh, my Elohim. Lighten mine eyes, lest I sleep the sleep of death. Lest mine enemies say, I have prevailed against him, and those that trouble me rejoice when I am moved. But I have trusted in thy mercy, my heart shall rejoice in thy salvation. I will sing unto Yahweh, because he hath dealt bountifully with me. Psalm 43, verse 1 Judge me, O Elohim, and plead my cause against an ungodly nation. O deliver me from the deceitful and unjust man. For thou art the Elohim of my strength. Why dost thou cast me off? Why go I mourning because of the oppression of the enemy? O send out thy light and thy truth, let them lead me, let them bring me unto the holy hill, and to thy tabernacles. Then will I go to the altar of Elohim, unto Elohim my exceeding joy. Yea, upon the harp will I praise thee, O Elohim, my Elohim. Why art thou cast down, O my soul, and why art thou disquieted within me? Hope in Elohim, for I shall yet praise him, who is the health of my countenance and my Elohim. Psalm 73, verse 1 A Psalm of Asaph Truly Elohim is good to Israel, even to such as are of a clean heart. But as for me, my feet were almost gone, my steps had well nigh slipped, for I was envious of the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. For there are no bands in their death, but their strength is firm. They are not in trouble as other men, neither are they plagued like other men. Therefore pride compasseth them about as a chain, violence covereth them as a garment. Their eyes stand out with fatness, they have more than heart could wish. They are corrupt and speak wickedly concerning oppression, they speak loftily. They set their mouth against the heavens, and their tongue walketh through the earth. Therefore his people return hither, and waters of a full cup are wrung out to them. And they say, How doth Elohim know? And is there knowledge in the Most High? Behold, these are the ungodly, who prosper in the world, they increase in riches. Verily I have cleansed my heart in vain, and washed my hands in innocency. For all the day long have I been plagued and chastened every morning. If I say, I will speak thus, behold, I should offend against the generation of thy children. When I thought to know this, it was too painful for me. Until I went into the sanctuary of Elohim, then understood I their end. Surely thou didst set them in slippery places, Thou cantest them down into destruction. How are they brought into desolation as in a moment? They are utterly consumed with terrors. As a dream when one awaketh, so, O Lord, when thou awakest, thou shalt despise their image. Thus my heart was grieved, and I was pricked in my reins. So foolish was I, and ignorant. I was as a beast before thee. Nevertheless, I am continually with thee. Thou hast holden me by my right hand. Thou shalt guide me with thy counsel, and afterward receive me to glory. Whom have I in heaven but thee? And there is none upon the earth that I desire beside thee. My flesh and my heart faileth, but Elohim is the strength of my heart, and my portion forever. For lo, they that are far from thee shall perish. Thou hast destroyed all them that go a-whoring from thee. But it is good for me to draw near to Elohim. I have put my trust 
in the Lord Elohim, that I may declare all thy works. Psalm 103, verse 1, a psalm of David, Bless Yahweh, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless Yahweh, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgiveth all thine iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases, who redeemeth thy life from destruction, who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfieth thy mouth with good things, so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. Yahweh executeth righteousness, righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed. He made known his ways unto Moses, his acts unto the children of Israel. Yahweh is merciful and gracious, slow to anger, and plenteous in mercy. He will not always chide, neither will he keep his anger forever. He hath not dealt with us after our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. For as the heaven is high above the earth, so great is his mercy toward them that fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far hath he removed our transgressions from us. Like as a father pitieth his children, so Yahweh pitieth them that fear him. For we knoweth, for he knoweth our frame, he remembereth that we are dust. As for man, his days are as grass, as a flower of the field, so he flourisheth. For the wind passeth over it, and it is gone, and the place thereof shall know it no more. But the mercy of Yahweh is from everlasting to everlasting upon them that fear him, and his righteousness unto children's children, to such as keep his covenant, and to those that remember his commandments to do them. Yahweh hath prepared his throne in the heavens, and in his kingdom ruleth over all. Bless Yahweh, ye his angels that excel in strength, that do his commandments, hearkening unto the voice of his word. Bless ye, Yahweh, are ye his hosts, ye ministers of his, that do his pleasure. Bless Yahweh, all his workers, in all places of his dominion. Bless Yahweh, O my soul. And Psalm 133, verse 1. A Song of Degrees of David Behold how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. It is like the precious ointment upon the head that ran down upon the beard, even Aaron's beard that went down to the skirts of his garments, as the dew of Hermon and as the dew that descended upon mountains of Zion. For there Yahweh commanded the blessing, even life forevermore. Wow, that was uh, really short. That's one of the shortest psalms there is. 133. It only has three. Wow. <laughs> short. But uh, moving on. Proverbs 13, verse 1. A wise son heareth his father's instruction, but a scorner heareth not rebuke. A man shall eat good by the fruit of his mouth, but the soul of the transgressor shall eat violence. He that keepeth his mouth keepeth his life, but he that openeth wide his lips shall have destruction. The soul of the sluggard desireth, and hath nothing, but the soul of the diligent shall be made fat. A righteous man hateth lying, but a wicked man is loathsome, and cometh to shame. Righteousness keepeth him that is upright in the way, but wickedness overthroweth the sinner. There is none that maketh himself rich, yet hath nothing. There is that maketh himself poor, yet hath great riches. The ransom of a man's life are his riches, but the poor heareth not rebuke. The light of the righteous rejoiceth, but the lamp of the wicked shall be put out. Only by pride cometh contention, but with the well advised is wisdom. Wealth gotten by vanity shall be diminished. diminished. But he that gathereth by labor shall increase. Hmm. Wow, this one's very, very important to today's culture, isn't it? Uh, people are getting massive wealth from vanity, right? You know, there's people out there who make money just by selling their bodies, showing their bodies, stuff with just their bodies, and, you know, all this, all these things that people do get lots and lots of money in this world is through vanity I mean we see that everywhere we look it's crazy but 
even in uh, when when Proverbs is written, this stuff was happening. It's been happening all throughout humanity. But uh, yeah, wealth gotten by vanity shall be diminished. Wow. But he that gathereth by labor shall increase. Hope deferred maketh the heart sick, but when the desire cometh, it is a tree of life. Whoso despiseth the word shall be destroyed, but he that feareth the commandment shall be rewarded. The law of the wise is a fountain of life, to depart from the snares of death. Good understanding giveth favor, but the way of transgressors is hard. Every prudent man dealeth with knowledge, but the fool layeth open his folly. A wicked messenger falleth into mischief, but a faithful ambassador is health. Poverty and shame be to him that refuseth instruction, but he that regardeth reproof shall be honored. The desire accomplished is sweet to the soul, but it is an abomination to fools to depart from evil. He that walketh with wise men shall be wise, but a companion of fools shall be destroyed. Evil pursueth sinners, but to the righteous good shall be repaid. A good man leaveth an inheritance to his children's children, and the wealth of the sinner is laid up for the just. Much food is in the village of the poor, but there is that is destroyed for want of judgment. He that spareth his rod hateth his son, but he that loveth him chasteneth him betimes. The righteous eateth to the satisfying of his soul, but the belly of the wicked shall want. Okay, great, great verses today. I feel like, um, was it Psalm 73? I think it was Psalm 73 that I felt was very, uh, very good. I kind of want to reread it, um, later, but, uh, that's what I do. I, I'll reread the Psalms two, three, four times, uh, just so I can understand it better, but, uh, yeah. That's going to be it for today, guys. Thanks so much for watching and listening. I hope you all have a great evening, morning, noon, wherever you're at. And as always, TTFN, Tots off for now. Take care. God bless. Remember to put God first in everything you do. Have faith in Him. Have trust in Him and wait upon Him and you'll never be sorry. We'll see you tomorrow, God willingly, with more Psalms and Proverbs. Thanks again and take care.